So let's get to the main question. What's it like to fly the Foxbat? Well, another part of this uh, video covers flying a circuit in the Foxbat. So uh, here are some general comments about flying the aircraft first. The heart of the Foxbat's easy, safe handling characteristics is the forward swept wing with the huge combined ailerons and flaps, colloquially known as flapperons. The control surfaces are very large, which give you great control down to very slow speeds, but the controls firm up nicely as speed increases, which makes cruising more relaxing and not too sensitive. Takeoff is quick and easy. Apply full power, lift the nose, and within a count of five or six, you're airborne. Climb angle is steep, which gives you good obstacle clearance, and cruise is anywhere between 50 and 105 knots. Flat out, you can manage typically around 112 knots. Stalling the aircraft is a very gentle and benign process with no adverse characteristics. In particular, it's very rare to get a wing drop in a Foxbat. It also, by dint of the forward swept wing and the flapperons, has spin resistant aerodynamics. Approach speed down final is around 50 to 55 knots, which can feel very slow to pilots brought up on less forgiving aircraft. Touchdown on the main wheels is around 40 to 45 knots and gives you a very short ground roll. With experience, you can learn to take off and land in under 75 metres. In summary, the Foxbat's an easy, relaxing and safe aircraft to fly. It has no bad handling characteristics you need to worry about. You can get into and out of small strips and it has a very handy turn of speed in the cruise.